All right. Th thanks a lot, um, Angela, and thanks a lot to uh, ITF and to uh, uh, to Young Tai Kim, the Secretary General General of ITF, and to uh, Olaf to give me the chance to uh, to address you today about this uh, topic of changing demand for maritime trades. Um, I must say that it was not an easy task when thinking about it. Not only because uh, the time was limited to write the report, but more because of uh, the audience. You know, when we want to talk about changing demand for the next uh, 40 or 50 years uh, and you have to address professionals, people from the uh, academia, uh, people more from uh, policy makers, you know you're not going to be to please anybody. There's not enough modeling, there's not enough policy issues, not enough details on commodities, you know. So what, what, what I did actually is try to look at um, things that were important for me to generate discussion and to put that in a report that you, uh, you have with you on some key points, okay? And, and once again, with the view to say, okay, after this round table, we still have one month to complete the report to look at what, uh, what was missing, I would say. Uh, so for this changing demand on, on, uh, uh, for maritime trade, I agree with the, uh, obviously the, sorry, yeah with the former presenter about all the new element to consider about disruption and so on. But I, I still try to look at a long term view, once again, looking at the past and uh, some drivers for the, the future. Uh, when looking at the past, I think it's since 1970, the last 50 years, I just look at basic statistics about uh, number of tons loaded on crude oil petroleum and uh, dry cargo. And I think this, this, is, this says a lot already about what has happened and maybe what could happen for the next uh, uh, 50 years. It's pretty easy to see that you have uh, trade, which is oil, energy, uh, fossil type of uh, commodities, which have been pretty steady when you think about the last uh, 50 years. And then you have an increasing uh, share for all the dry cargo, dry bulk cargo and obviously in particular for a container uh, trade. So just started with that and actually you have more element in the in the report of course. I, I think there's for me two uh, questions just looking at the past that could be raised. Uh, first one is uh, is a decrease is a decrease of the share of uh, energy trades is going to continue to uh, uh, like that for the next, I don't know, 20 or 40 years. When you think about it, the share of uh, oil, mostly, and coal, which has um, two main commodities related to energy trades, uh, went down from 60% to 30% today. So a huge decrease for this uh, trade. And I think there is a, also a key point that was mentioned by the former uh, speakers about the fact to say, okay, it's probably going to continue to decrease, but is the absolute value going to decrease? Although you have a you know, uh, steady situation for uh, oil trade, for instance, we're still growing by 1% or 2% per year. Okay? So the, the main question I had in this report was to say, let's try to think about this uh, element and try to wonder, are this trade going to go down now? Minus 1%. Uh, the second question was just looking at the graph I, sh I shared with you previously, was about... Uh, dry bulk cargo and container trade. Uh, it's very likely that they are going to continue to grow, but for me the main question is how they're going to continue to grow as much as before. And this relates me to who was generating this growth, especially during the last couple of years, which is uh, uh, developing countries, which means are these countries going to continue to, uh, to grow for the next uh, 50 years? So I would say this is the way I, I, I look at it, and which led me to this uh, uh, to investigate in this report, not with full, complete investigation, but to 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 look at these three main points for me was um, what would be the future changes in population, GDP, and trade. Okay, this is mostly related to the dry bulk commodities. Okay, because actually dry bulk commodities, iron ore. Okay, but container, if I take these two, grain, are uh, mostly uh, related to population GDP, okay, G or GDP per capita. It was mentioned in the former presentation. 
The second main uh, critical factor, I'm just going to give you a summary here, you have more details once again in the report, is the pathways to energy transition. Okay. Are we going to continue to use more uh, fossil-based energy, or are we moving, and what could be the implication for, uh, for shipping? And then the, the third question was uh, touched upon two, uh, a few minutes ago, is about additional future drivers. Okay? But I would say the first two points are based on what it used to be, and now is there key factors to, uh, to, uh, to take into consideration when looking at these uh, uh, future uh, changes. So first was about uh, future changes in population or GDP per capita. Unless you have a major disruption, I still feel that okay, the main drivers still remain GDP per capita. I know there was a lot of uh, work has been done. There's more modeling. Here it's a simple model, simple regression, but I think it's, it says already a lot. Looking at the last 15 years, if I look at total trade, and this is a result from uh, uh, forecasting on total trade as a function of GDP per capita. And you see the dot line, if you adjust your GDP per capita, is not too far from reality. You have more details once again in the report, but it was almost 97% as a R square. So my, my view is to say, especially due to the fact that you are more and more dry bulk, which are heavily connected to GDP per capita, I would say the main driver of future maritime train will still will still need to be found in changing population GDP per capita. Uh, you can see also that this is not so true for crude oil trade, which makes sense in, because crude oil trade, there is this decoup decoupling effect they are related to energy transition. So that, that's why I look at uh, uh, some report. I missed a lot of them. I'm sure I didn't factor in the ITF work, I didn't factor in some of uh, BIMCO work, but I think that 